Hey everyone, Brian here with Be Free Productions. I am back with another sample library shootout comparison type video. Today we're going to be doing fiddles. So get ready to fiddle around a bit and here we go. All right, guys, so let's get into it. First of all, I'm going to do a couple of different styles. One, I'm going to do like a bluegrass kind of Americana rootsy type sound. And then I'm also going to do something more Celtic, more Irish European type sound. So right now I have the bluegrass song opened up and I'm going to focus on a few different instruments here and they are at different price points. So I'm going to kind of weigh the pros and cons of each. Now, the ones I'm going to focus on are Boulder Sounds Fiddle, exclamation mark version two um, the red room audio bluegrass fiddle I'm going to use the bluegrass fiddle for this one and then red room audio also has a Celtic fiddle which I'll use for the next song also I have a less expensive option called folk fiddle from insanity samples which was just recently updated to have true legato um, it's a really nice instrument more um, on the, on the less expensive side and then we also have just as an honorable mention, I'm going to throw in the Taylor Davis. It's a violin. It's not marketed as a fiddle, but it has a very fiddle-like tone. I'm going to play this track, and we'll go between the main contenders here, which are the fiddle from Boulder Sounds and the bluegrass fiddle, Red Room Audio, and then also the folk fiddle. <laughs> So I kind of wrote to the strengths of each library. So that was the bluegrass fiddle. At first it was just one fiddle, then in the second uh, second measure here, I added a second one. You could hear the harmonizing notes there. Um, now let's hear that same thing uh, with the Boulder Sounds fiddle. <laughs> Now let's do a back-to-back -back comparison in the very first bar here. <laughs> The 
The Boulder Sounds is a bit warmer, but it, and it also is more versatile. So obviously, the Boulder Sounds fiddle is not focused on Celtic or bluegrass music, and it can kind of do both. However, if you want a more specialized approach, um, obviously, the Red Room Audio is made for bluegrass. It has like a brighter, more shrill tone, and you can hear, especially on those short notes, there's a lot more of the bow sound, and it's, it's a bit more detailed there, but it's not as warm or as versatile. Also, let's go into the folk fiddle here. This is, like I said, a much more inexpensive one, and it has a more kind of raw and gritty sound. Let's check that out. <laughs> So a quick back-to-back -back of those three, which I feel are the main contenders, without any accompaniment. So you can hear the differences there. Um, honestly, my favorite is the Boulder Sounds fiddle for its versatility. I think the bluegrass fiddle here has like that more kind of traditional Americana type fiddle tone, and it's more bright and shrill. You can hear it there, especially in those short notes. Now you hear the folk fiddle is not nearly as tight on those short notes. So while I weigh the pros and cons of each, they're at different price points and I think they're all like really good instruments for what you get. I've actually used this one quite a bit. So let's go into the different articulations. One of the things about traditional Americana roots fiddle music is the way that they bend the notes. So you could hear that. I implemented that a lot in that um, little composition there. So we have, you know, different articulations that kind of focus on that. Now, the folk fiddle has a recent addition with the true legato. So you can, it has like those really slow bends, which I love, um, which they sound like this. You can hear they have like a, a more authentic tone. It sounds like someone's playing... Um, a fiddle like right in front of you, maybe not the best fiddle in the world. It's it's more raw and gritty. Um, so the bends I really like, but they're only slow bends here in the folk fiddle. So while they have the new true legato, you can kind of fake it. Or you can use the pitch bend function, your um, pitch bend on your MIDI controller, or you can program that in to the actual piano roll. In the, especially the Red Room Audio Fiddle, there is an extensive amount of articulations, which I really love. Um, it will take some programming, absolutely, but you can see they have such a wide variety of articulations. They have the bends up fast and the bends up slow. So those are going to be performed instead of, you know, programmed with a mod wheel or whatever, and they sound very, very good. Um, it will just take some programming because you can't actually click on here. You'll need to know the key switches or set up, you know, an expression map inside your doll. I also really like that they have kind of a repetition type articulation like this. That sounds very, very good. Um, much better than if you were to program those with shorts and try to, you know, alternate the velocities and stuff. It sounds very natural. Um, let's check out the bend articulations they have. So 
So they have a lot of those kind of nuanced articulations that will give you a more human feel to it. But again, it'll take more programming. Um, I really like the Boulder Sounds fiddle. I'd say overall versatility wise, that is my favorite, though it's not going to be quite as bluegrassy because it's meant to cover these different genres. So you see you get all those different um, speeds of those bends up, and when they harmonize, they just sound so good. Um, let's compare the legato really quick, because another thing about fiddles is the very fast playing, and I did use some of the, you know, the shorter notes in the composition, but not so much the fast legato. So we'll start with what I was just using, the Boulder Sounds fiddle. So not too bad. Um, you don't hear as much of those transitions, but also you notice it has velocity sensitive attacks, which is very nice. Let's check out the legato on the Red Room Audio Bluegrass Fiddle. Now, my personal opinion, I think this legato and the legato transitions are a lot better in this bluegrass fiddle here. So I would rate this the best legato out of the fiddle libraries that we have here. It's also the most extensive amount of articulations. Let's check out folk fiddle legato real quick. So not nearly as good. Um, I really love all of these companies and all of these products, and I don't like to bash any one single product. Um, like the companies of this, this product, too, have been very, very helpful. So again, I want to point out this is a lower price point. Um, the Legato is not nearly as good, but it's still, it's a very good product. But I'm here to give you like the honest opinion and everything, but you can also let your ears decide. So the best Legato hands down is, in my opinion, the Red Room Audio Bluegrass Fiddle. Most versatile, in my opinion, is definitely the Boulder Sounds Fiddle version 2. So finally, for this composition, I want to compare a final one. I didn't include it in the main ones because it's not marketed as a fiddle, but it has a very, very fiddle-like tone. If you compare this especially to something like the Joshua Bell violin from Ember Tone, that's very warm and classical. Taylor Davis is marketed as a violin, but she has a very fiddle-like bright tone to her playing. So let's check that out, what that sounds like. So you can hear she has that portamento, or this library has that portamento effect. It's, it gets that nice kind of lazy sound. And with the legato, you can kind of program in your own kind of bends. All right, so now we're moving on to the sort of Celtic sound that we're going to do for section two. So this one's going to be shorter because I, I'm not as familiar with the, you know, Celtic type music, though I do love it. So we'll start off with the Boulder Sounds Fiddle version two and see what that sounds like. Now the Red Room Audio Celtic Fiddle instead of the Bluegrass Fiddle. Now 
Now we'll check out the folk fiddle. And finally, we'll do the Taylor Davis violin with this sort of Celtic arrangement. So there is my little Celtic melody. Now, it's not as in-depth as my bluegrass melody and I just took a MIDI file of a traditional sort of Celtic uh, arrangement so I did not write that full disclosure anyway what do you guys think because this one while I said earlier the Boulder Sounds fiddle is the most versatile I think for the I think Boulder Sounds did really good for the bluegrass um, but it does not do as good for the Celtic. And here, the clear winner to me, like by a mile, is the Celtic fiddle from Red Room Audio. The legato just works so well. The Taylor Davis isn't bad at all either, but the legato is, is pretty sloppy in that. It's not as fast as I want it to be. You're going to have to go in and adjust those notes. Great instrument, um, but here for like for these focused styles, Red Room Audio really, really nails it. Boulder Sounds is a close second, and I think the the clear choice if you want the most versatility out of a you know folk rootsy Celtic bluegrass fiddle. So you know as opposed to you know more traditional violin. Um, you know they're they're all good instruments. Again, I use them all in different situations, um, but you can also let your ears decide. Uh, most value for the money would be the boulder sounds fiddle or the taylor davis um the celtic fiddle and the bluegrass fiddle are going to sound the best for those specific um genres also the celtic fiddle i didn't even show you guys it contains a lot of phrases and effects so i want to be fair there they're they cost 90 dollars each but they have a lot more content and they're very very good at those styles so again you know, quick rundown, a little shootout for what you can achieve with these libraries. Also threw in the Taylor Davis. If you have the Taylor Davis and you and you like the fiddle like tone, um, you can hear here, you can hear in this example how it compares with a library that's dedicated to a more kind of traditional fiddle type arrangement. So thanks so much for checking this out with me. Hope it was helpful. Uh, if you want to support my channel, I really appreciate it. If you guys would subscribe, you know, leave me a comment below. I read all your comments and I'll respond to every single one. If you have questions, anything like that, um, just leave me a comment. Uh, like the video. Again, if you want to support the channel, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know when I have more great content just like this. Thank you guys so much. I will see you next time. <laughs>